Yeah, hi, my, uh, my name is Tony Mazurkowitz. I serve as the uh, chaplain for athletics here in Georgetown. I think a lot of, of long-term conversations and commitment, you know, of, of, of Georgetown, of President DeJoya and, you know, Father Mark Bosco, our VP for Mission and Ministry, and Lee Reed, you know, conversations about, you know, how do we continue to build bridges, say, with campus ministry or the Office of Mission and Ministry with athletics, you know, knowing that, that people over the years have been serving in similar roles like this here, you know, in athletics. And, you know, really out of the generosity of, of the Calcomini family, you know, Arthur, the late Arthur and, and, and Nancy Calcomini, you know, their incredible generosity to the institution, to the university, you know, really uh, helped create this position. You know, we talk about authentic human flourishing, but, but athletics is exactly that. It, it provides a space for our student athletes, our coaches, our staff, our administration to do that each and every day, you know, to really be our best and, and, and help bring about, you know, this mission that, that is alive and well. So I'm just really grateful for particularly the Calcagnini family and, and, and their generosity in helping to make this position happen. So the, the position is unique in that um, the chaplain position comes out of campus ministry. Uh, and so really the, the, the whole goal was to create a, a bridge between campus ministry and you know, and athletics. And so with that, it, it is the opportunity to, to walk with student athletes and staff, you know, and coaches and administrators um, with respect to Ignatian spirituality, if you will. You know, with student athletes, a, a lot of uh, some of the, the accompaniment that I do now is, is just meeting with individuals, sort of talking about um, you know, what might be happening spiritually in their lives. Uh, and that might mean you know, meaning, that might look like belonging, that might look like purpose. Um, just be, might be just a regular conversation about what's going on in their lives, uh, what's been happening in their, you know, in their sport, if you will. With coaches, uh, with some administrators as well, we, um, we have some weekly opportunities for meditation, uh, which uh, some folks will attend. Um, I do some spiritual accompaniment, so I might meet with, uh, with some coaches and some staff and just listen with them as they try to name how is God or mystery of the divine uh, present and alive in their lives and maybe what their prayer life looks like. Yeah, this is where I'm really grateful that the, the position comes out of campus ministry. I mean. Campus ministry at Georgetown, um, you know, there's Catholic life, there's Protestant life, there's Jewish life, Dharmic life, Muslim life, um, and then everything else beyond that. And I think that really is a rich tradition here at Georgetown that was, George, Georgetown was founded on this, you know, reality of, you know, being a Christian Catholic home, what, open to all. And so I really just appreciate um, whether it's the role of chaplaincy or our campus ministry uh, to really just, again, meet people where they're at. I think it's also the cura personalis. We hear this a lot here at Georgetown, and cura personalis is the care of the person. And, and it's what's specific to the person and what their needs are. And so I think that is something that, in the chaplaincy role that I'm in, and also in campus ministry, just trying to meet whatever individual comes along my way or people that I connect with campus ministry, just to honor wherever they're at on that path and know that, that and trust that that's part of how they're being called to flourish and that uh, that's at the, the core of our tradition. You know, we talk about for the greater glory of God at Georgetown, right? And the translation for that is authentic human flourishing. And that's the space we try to hold for, for all of all the people we walk with in athletics. So for me, meditation is uh, has been a practice for my for myself for, for 20 years and, and really it's you know it's a deeper dive into who we are and maybe whose we are if you come with that journey uh, and, and it, it really meets people where they're at um, it's stillness and silence and simplicity those three pieces uh, I know it's hard I know when I first you know started I wanted to run out of the room you know within seconds because uh, it is hard to sit in stillness it's hard to sit in silence especially now in this pandemic I mean things are real and, and they're hard and so really for me, meditation is, you know, uh, a, a journey, right? It's a journey within, uh, but it's a journey that also recognizes that we're not alone. Um, 
And however we describe being not alone, I think is the invitation that, that we're given um, in that practice, in that discipline, in that journey.